welcome to the installation video of the Kurt 60700 OEM style gooseneck hitch on the 2017 Ford Super Duty. For a better view of the installation, we'll be using a lift. Like most of our installations, this vehicle does not need to be elevated for the install. We estimate this installation to take one to two hours depending on your level of expertise. These are the tools necessary for the install. Begin by lowering the spare tire to make some additional room to work. Prepare to drill the gooseneck hole by locating the factory gooseneck plate shown here. Make sure there aren't any obstructions in the way. Use the factory dimple in the truck bed as a guide and a 3 and a quarter inch hole saw to cut out the gooseneck hole from inside the truck bed. Use a spray lubricant to ease the cutting process. Clean up the shavings and burrs around the freshly cut hole and use a paint pen or rust inhibitor to cover the hole's edge. Install the included rubber edge trim around the edge of the cut hole and trim to length. From underneath the truck, it is important to note that some trucks will already have the interior frame plates already installed. This truck already has them installed. In that case, you will not install items C and D included on the parts list. Continue by installing the outside frame plates by lining up the holes in the plates with the holes in the frame and the holes in the factory installed interior frame plates. Install the 916 inch bolts with washers from outside the frame through both frame plates and loosely fasten with hex flange nuts. Repeat this process on the opposite side. Continue by installing a 5 8 inch carriage bolt into the top mounting hole of each center section plate before raising it into position. We are installing the foremost driver side plate first above the fuel tank and brake lines. The plate will be orientated above the frame and the threaded attachment point will line up with the recently installed outside frame plate seen here. Continue to install the remaining center attachment plates lining up the threaded attachment points with the frame plate mounting holes. Once the center plates are installed, align the attachment points on the outside frame plates to the center plates and loosely fasten them together with the included 916 inch bolts, conical tooth washers, and square hole spacers. Repeat this process on the interior frame plates and on the opposite side. Do not fasten the foremost driver side plate to the outside frame plate or the inside frame plate at this time. Before installing the center section, slide the driver front plate away from the fuel tank as illustrated here. Raise the center section into place between the drive shaft and the exhaust, making sure the notched corner of the center section is positioned over the fuel tank. Align the 5 8 inch carriage bolt installed in the foremost driver side plate with the rectangular hole attachment point in the center section. Once aligned, slide the center section and the foremost driver side plate into position over the fuel tank. Align the remaining 5 8 inch carriage bolts in the center attachment plates with the center section. Fasten with the hex flange nuts. Now you may fasten the foremost driver side plate to the exterior and interior frame plates with the 916 inch bolts, washers, and spacers. Install the remaining 5 8 inch carriage bolts into the center section and through the center attachment plates and fasten with the 5 8 inch hex flange nuts. Torque all hardware to the exact value specified in the supplied instruction sheet. Using the center section as a template, drill the four safety chain holes through the heat shield and truck bed using an 11 16 inch drill bit. Make sure your drill is perpendicular to the heat shield and bed. Clean up and deburr the recently drilled holes and use a paint pen or rust inhibitor to cover the edges. 
Install the safety chain U-bolts down from inside the truck bed. From underneath the truck, install a washer, spring, an additional washer, and an included nut over the U-bolts. Tighten the nuts until they are flush with the bottom of the U-bolt. Test out the U-bolt assemblies, making sure they sit flat in the bed and do not bind. Reinstall the spare tire. Finally, install the included gooseneck ball and get ready to tow. This completes the installation of the Kurt 60700 OEM style gooseneck hitch on the 2017 Ford Super Duty. Thank you for watching this video. Now get out there and bring it. Kurt, the first name in towing products.